So first one here, this is Micro. Uh, this range runs from 2.2 kilowatt single phase. Uh, then we go into three phase, it goes from 2.2 kilowatt up to 5.5 kilowatts. We've obviously got ranges that are floor mounted, receiver mounted, or receiver mounted with dryer. Uh, in the instance where these are uh, up to four kilowatt are typically speaking pressure switch controlled and direct online starting. Although the five and a half kilowatt we have with the electronic controller, which has got the ETM2 uh, and star delta starting. So the concept of these machines, obviously rotary screw, continuous duty, very low operating noise levels, and the idea of them obviously being with micro is it's a very small compact rotary screw compressor. Um, under the front panel you'll find access to all your service components and the idea should be with this is very simple. You take that front panel away and all of your service access is done from that one front panel which keeps things very simple and very straightforward. Other than that, there's not an awful lot more to say about the Micro. As I say, it's a product that obviously we've been selling now for many, many years. Um, still uh, a product that is going to continue as far as production goes is belt driven in this instance, but some of the other machines that we're going to be talking about today are direct drive, so still current generation, albeit when we come to the cubes and other bits, but you can now start to see there is a bit of overlap between these products, when we're now giving you the option of both direct drive and or indeed belt driven, depending on the application and uh, what it is you're looking for. Okay, does anyone want me to set the doors off and have a look inside? Yeah. yeah. So as you can see with these units, once you've got the door off, <coughs> service access, the same for these units is, is right in front of you. So you've obviously got oil level, oil drain, oil filter, separator, air filter down the back. With these units, I won't lie, the actual maintenance side of it, it makes it even easier if you can also take the top panel off of it. In an ideal set of circumstances, you should have at least half a metre clearance around the machine in all directions from not only a servicing or user access, but even dare I say it from an insurance point of view so that the inspectors can gain access to the service of the vessels as well for just ongoing uh, inspections and things along those lines. Let's say this machine, they've been with us now for some years. I know it's been a very popular seller for us. Any questions or concerns that you've ever seen or had with the micro at all or no? So pretty much a bread and butter machine for us and has been now for for, for several years. Um, lately sort of incarnation of it, but as you will see as we go through now, there's been more and more additions as far as the direct drives that sort of try to move away from, in some cases, the belt driven unit. Okay? Intake valve. Yes. On the smaller ones, you used to have to change the intake valve. You well, as a complete assembly. You couldn't service it, could you? Does that change now? Yes, it has changed. Um, primarily because we made a bit of a point to the factory about it. and sure enough this has one of those intake valves on it because it's pressure switch control. The intake valve on these units, because you don't have a solenoid valve that is physically loading and unloading the machine, the solenoid acts more as a blowdown valve, which means the intake valve is just open and closed based on suction pressure off the air end. Um, they were a complete unit as far as aluminium goes, now they produce a kit that gives you the shutter, the stem, and basically in effect what is a bolt, a nut that holds it all together with the o-ring in it. So yes, I think from memory now the kit is about £105, whereas before the entire intake valve was about 354 yeah. quid. Yeah. And having to do that every four years, uh, 4,000 hours was becoming ridiculous. It's all very well and good for the manufacturer. 2.2 kilowatt say, unit. Yeah, it's all very well and good the manufacturer to say change it as a unit. Can you drop us apart from that? Absolutely. Yeah. But is that on all the machines, or is that on only new ones? No, that's on all of them. Right. So the intake valve that you're referring to had the model number of IR8. That was the model number of the intake valve, and that kit is available right away across those. Uh, yeah, drop us a number. Yeah, no problem. We so think we still got in the kits that we're changing the actual intake valve. Yeah, so. it's an expensive way to do it, which is why we said mm -hmm. no. When you get up to the micro that's got the digital controller on it, you go up to the more sophisticated IR10 intake valve, yes. which you can obviously get the, the, the yeah. service consumer board score and always has been, but just that IRA. It's a kit that's been available, they just didn't 
promoted, yeah. shall we say. But okay. yes, and also more than that, we're now stocking it as well. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. That's fine. Any other questions on that unit at all? Or? Nope. Okay.